brought to you by wikivd.com. Gunfight at the OK Corral film. Gunfight at the OK Corral is a 1957 American Western film starring Burt Lancaster as Wyatt Earp and Kirk Douglas as Doc Holliday, based on a real event which took place on October 26, 1881. The picture was directed by John Sturgis from a screenplay written by novelist Leon Uris. The shootout was couched in the movie as a heavily armed firefight that took place at medium range. The historical event itself lasted only about 30 seconds, and was fought at close range with only a few firearms. Plot In Fort Griffin, Texas, Ed Bailey comes looking to avenge the death of his brother at the hands of gunslinger John H. Doc Holliday. Seeing him in a bar, Holliday's girl, Kate Fisher, returns to Holliday's room, where the two argue, while Holliday throws knives at the wall, once she brings up Holliday's once prominent family. At the same time, well-known Marshal Wyatt Earp arrives in Fort Griffin thinking he will take outlaws I. Clanton and Johnny Ringo into custody, but instead finds out that the local sheriff, Cotton Wilson, released them despite the outstanding warrants for their arrest. Holiday refuses to help the lawman, holding a grudge against Wyatt's brother, Morgan. Holiday kills Bailey with a knife throw when Bailey attempts to shoot him in the back. Holiday is arrested for murder, though Wyatt and Kate allow him to escape from a lynch mob. In Dodge City, Kansas, Wyatt finds out that Holiday and Kate are in town. Holiday tells him he has no money, so Wyatt allows him to stay if he promises to not fight while he is in town. Meanwhile, gorgeous gambler Laura Denbo is arrested for playing cards since women are not allowed to gamble. She is released and allowed to play in the side rooms of the saloon. Wyatt is forced to deputize Holiday because a bank robber kills a cashier, and Wyatt's other deputies are out in a posse catching another outlaw. The bank robbers attempt to ambush Wyatt outside of town, but are instead killed by Wyatt and Holiday. Back in Dodge City, Holiday learns Kate has left him for Ringo, who taunts Holiday to a shootout and throws liquor on him. Holiday steadfastly refuses to fight him. Shanghai Pierce and his henchmen ride into town, wound Deputy Charlie Bassett and attack a dance hall, but Wyatt and Holiday hold the men and defuse the situation. As Ringo attempts to intervene, Holiday shoots him in the arm. Holiday returns to his room and Kate is waiting for him, but he refuses to take her back. She swears she will see him dead. By now, Wyatt and Laura have fallen in love, but when he receives a letter from his brother, Virgil, asking him to come clean up Tombstone, Arizona, she refuses to go with him unless he changes. Holiday catches up to Wyatt on the trail and both head to Tombstone. In Tombstone, Wyatt finds out that Ike Clanton is trying to herd thousands of head of Mexican cattle but cannot as long as the Earps control Tombstone's railway station. Morgan Earp criticizes his brother's association with Holiday, but Wyatt insists the gunslinger is welcome in Tombstone as long as he stays out of trouble. Cotton, the cowardly county sheriff from Fort Griffin, offers Wyatt a $20,000 bribe if he allows the stolen cattle to be shipped, but Wyatt refuses. He rides out to the Clanton Ranch, returning young Billy Clanton to his mother after finding Billy drunk. Wyatt informs Ike that he has been made a U.S. Marshal and has legal authority in every county in the United States. Finding no recourse, the Clantons decide to ambush Wyatt as he makes his nightly rounds, but kill his younger brother James up by mistake. The next morning, Ike and five of his henchmen go to Tombstone to face off against the Earps at the OK Corral. Holiday, who is sick from tuberculosis, joins them. Though Virgil and Morgan are wounded in the gunfight, all six in Clanton's gang are killed, including Billy, who is given a chance to surrender, but refuses. After the fight is over, Wyatt joins Holiday for a final drink before heading off to California to meet Laura, as promised. Reception the film was a big hit and earned $4.7 million on its first run, and $6 million on re-release.
It's Dmitry Tionkin score, featuring the song, Gunfight, at the OK Corral, with lyrics by Ned Washington, sung by Frankie Lane. Pushes the movie's momentum relentlessly throughout. Members of the Western Writers of America chose the song, Gunfight at the OK Corral, as one of the top 100 Western songs of all time. Sturge's sequel Sturges revisited the same material a decade later, when he directed a more historically accurate sequel of sorts, Hour of the Gun. Starring James Garner as Wyatt Earp, Jason Robards as Doc Holliday, and Robert Ryan as Ike Clanton. That film begins with a more accurate version of the OK. Corral gun battle, then moves forward into the aftermath for the balance of the movie. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.